Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and the following presentation is how to reset your Windows 7 password on any machine, such as a desktop, notebook, laptop, netbook, whatever it is you have. Um, the presentation is about 14 or 15 minutes in length and I was able to zoom in with the camera so you could see what to type or what to click on this screen. Now uh, some people may not know that you could do this with the Windows CD, you do not have to reinstall Windows from scratch or if you did not have any um, Windows recovery disks, you can use this method to reset your password, then go into the control panel and create yourself a set of password recovery disks. That way in the future you don't have to mess around with the registry as we are in the video. Okay, well, here it goes. Okay, let's say someone uh, lends you a laptop or a desktop. You gotta do some work on it. It's got Windows 7 installed and they forget to tell you the password happens quite often, a lot more than you think. Here we are at the login screen. Don't know what the password is, you can't get in. You can take any Windows 7 CD to reset your password. You could borrow it from a friend, you could take a copy from the computer that uh, you bought from the store. In this case, for my demonstration, I'll be using the Windows 7 CD for the copy that I had purchased online and downloaded online and then burnt to a DVD. Okay, insert the DVD and restart the PC. After you insert the CD and restart your PC, you're going to look for the option to boot your PC or notebook from the DVD or CD-ROM drive. So as you're prompted, press the Any key on the keyboard. You'll see a screen that says Windows is loading some files. Just be patient. Let it do its thing. All right, next you're presented with a uh, Windows 7 startup screen. Please select your language in the first one, which is going to be English. And then click on Next. Now you're presented with an Install Now option or in the lower left hand corner it says repair your computer you're gonna click on repair your computer okay you're now presented with the system recovery options just let it load up and uh, wait for the prompt after the system recovery options is loaded you're presented with this screen you're gonna leave the box up top over here that's automatically checked off that says Use recovery tools that can help fix problems starting Windows. Select an uh, operating system to repair. As you can see, Windows 7 is already selected. So now you're going to click on Next. Now your computer is going to automatically analyze itself. Just be patient. Wait for it to uh, finish. After your PC is done automatically analyzing itself, this screen should show up. Now if the screen didn't show up and if you got something else, like for example, Windows has finished repairing your computer, please click finish or cancel to automatically restart, ignore that screen and click on the X button in the upper right hand corner of it. After you do that, the system recovery options, which is this screen, will automatically appear. And here's what it looks like. Okay, so now the tool you want to use is called command prompt. So on the system recovery options, take your mouse and click on command prompt. When the command prompt comes up, it's going to look something like this. Now I had just repositioned my screen so you can see what it looks like. This is what comes up after you click command prompt. Now the tool that you're going to use is called uh, the registry editor. So within the command prompt, type in reg edit. and then hit enter and this other program comes up which is called the registry editor let me just reposition the screen so you can see it now word to the warning be very careful with what you do here inside of the, re the registry editor this is uh, the number one place that you can easily completely disable the PC in which the only other way to repair it would be to load a backup version of the registry or reinstall Windows. We're not here to do that. We're just here to simply reset the password. So, warning. 
You know, don't push any buttons or delete anything or alter anything other than what I show you in this video. Okay, so right here on the left hand side, look for a folder called HKey Local Machine. It's this one right here. You're going to click on the plus sign to bring the entire folder down and open it so you can see its contents. Okay, then you're going to click on the file menu and select load hive and this box comes up okay within the load hive box up here where it says look in you're gonna have to navigate to um, your system folder within your original installation area so up here and look in click the down arrow now select the drive in which Windows 7 is installed in in my case it's this one it says local disk drive D Go into your Windows folder, this is where Windows is installed, and I'm going to navigate all the way down to System32, so scroll down, look for a System32 folder, and within there, I'm going to look for another folder called config, here it is, and within the config, I'm going to select this system file and then click on open then a load hive box appears so within the load hive key name box type in anything you're gonna create a new key I'm gonna type in one two three and now I'm gonna click on OK now you're back to the registry editor now you're back to the registry editor there's something different if you take a look at your screen, within the HP local machine folder that you had um, opened up, there is now that key that you created, well that I created. Here it is. It's called 123. So now within this key, you're going to click on the plus sign to expand that folder. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Now look for a folder called setup, and here's mine. And within that folder, I am going to highlight it. And in the right hand side window over here, I'm going to right click on setup type and then select modify. So here's my setup type key. I'm going to highlight it, then I'm going to right click on it. Now I'm going to click on modify. Now the value data box appears. That's what this box is. As you can see, the value data area right here is automatically selected. We're going to change that to 2. And we're just going to click on OK. Now back here in this window again, look somewhere near the top for something called um, command line, C-M-D-L-I-N-E. Here it is. I'm going to highlight it, I'm going to right click on it, and now I'm going to hit modify. Now the edit string of the command line box appears in the value data section right here. We're going to type in cmd dot exe which is command dot executive so type in cmd dot exe and click on OK now you're gonna go up top of the registry editor and click on file and exit this is gonna bring you back to your initial command prompt now here at the initial command prompt you're gonna relaunch the regedit program. So let's type it in again. R E G E D I T and hit enter. Now the registry editor program comes up again. Now it may come back up at the last position you are in, which is fine, or it may come up as a brand new screen, which is also fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll all the way back up to the top and um, minimize all the folders that we had opened. So I'm going to look for H key local machine and click the minus sign, make it small again, and now I'm going to reopen it, look for the 123 key, make that small, so all I'm looking at is H key local machine 123, nice and simple, and we're going to unload the hive. So as the 123 key is selected, now we're going to click on file, and now there's an option here to unload hive we're gonna select unload hive 
Now a box is going to appear. It says, "Do you are you sure you want to unload the current key and all of its subkeys?" We're going to select yes because this was the hive that we created. So yes, we're going to unload it. And now it's gone. Now we're going to exit everything. So click on file and exit. And we are presented here at the command prompt again. All right, so up here in the upper right hand corner of the command prompt, just hit the X to close this out. And now we're going to restart the machine. But before we do that, we're going to remove the CD from the tray. So go ahead and take the CD out. Here we go, here's my CD. And now go ahead and restart the machine. Now we're almost there. As the PC restarts, there's gonna be a few more things that we have to do. Okay, so now a command prompt window opened. Uh, allow me to reposition the camera that way you can see it a little bit better. All right, so here's what the command prompt looks like. There's no mouse, only keyboard action. This is where you actually get to do the real work of resetting your password for your user ID. Now, a lot of times user ID is just uh, administrator or admin. In my case, it's my name, Ryan. So here's what you're going to type in. Here's the command. You're going to type in net user, then the username, then the new password that you want. So I'm going to type in uh, net space. Oh, don't type in space, but you can see spacebar. User. Now I'm going to type in my username, which was Ryan, and my new password, which I'm just going to make Ryan anyway. And then I'll zoom the camera out so you can see what the screen's going to look like. Okay, so then after you type it out, you hit enter, and you're going to get the following message. The command completed successfully. So as you can see, I typed in net space user space Ryan, which was my, um, my username my login username, space, and now my new password, which I also wanted it to be Ryan. It's going to be very easy. Then I hit enter, and the command completed itself. Okay, so now we're going to type in exit and hit enter. And here you are. You're presented at the Windows login screen. Now you can try out your new password. Remember, my user ID was Ryan, as you can see, and now my new password should be Ryan. So I'm going to type that in. And as I hit enter, Boom, instant access to Windows 7. So. Okay, so now you may have to reactivate Windows, which is fine. Uh, if you have internet connection, go ahead and activate now. For me, I'm going to do Ask Me Later, and then I'm going to reactivate it later. So Windows is going to load, and as you restart your PC from now on, you won't have to go through anything. No more activation or... Well, you have to reactivate it, but no more activation or no more password issues. And you're good to go. So remember, write down your password or don't forget.